Hey, how's it going, guys? So, uh, if you've been keeping up with the forums and, and YouTube lately, there's been a lot of bickering back and forth between Equinox owners. Some of the guys say that the machine has trouble hitting big silver coins, you know, half dollars and dollars when you're running in Park One and Field One multi frequency. And some of the other Equinox owners are saying, you know, it's a non issue, it's all in their head. So, uh, I thought I'd bring out a barber half today and just see what happens. I'm going to stand this straight up on edge right on top of ground just like that go through the settings I'm in park one no discrimination um, recovery speed is set at five iron bias is set at two this is how I normally hunt a lot of my spots sensitivity is set at 23 so let's see what happens. Not hitting it very well and the ID is going back and forth between one and two. Now if I'm in if I'm coin shooting, I wouldn't dig that. Coin shooting, I'm looking for targets between eleven and thirteen and eighteen on up, so I would definitely pass over that. I don't know if you can see the screen on the GoPro, so let me let me show you on the phone. One or two. All right, so uh, let's turn 90 degrees and see what happens. Nothing at all. Okay, just for the heck of it, we'll lower the uh, recovery speed down to three and the iron bias to zero. Let's see if that makes any difference. None at all, same thing. Okay, so let's try let's try part two. No problem, and it's ID and right where it should. Okay, we'll try, try field one. Same problem as park one, it's ID in round three and giving a really choppy signal. Jump over to field two. No problem in field two, the ID is correct too. So just for the heck of it, let's try going down to five kilohertz. No problem, 10 kilohertz. Again, no problem. 15. So in single frequency, the issue disappears. But, you know, I'm not going to hunt in single frequency with this machine because I bought it for its uh, simultaneous multi-frequency capabilities. If I wanted to hunt in single frequency, I'd just use a Deus. So to me, there's definitely an issue there in multi-frequency. But, uh, you know, some of the guys say, well, you know, pretty much any machine is going to have trouble hitting a, a silver coin on edge and uh, I'd have to disagree with that you know considering it's a large silver coin and it's sitting right on top of the ground so I'm gonna put that to the test too I'm gonna try the same coin with the Deus and the uh, 3030 I'm just set up in uh, basic one. Okay. No problem on the Davis. It's hitting. The ID is right where it should be as well. Okay. Well, let's try it with the CTX. Okay, this is just a slightly modified version of a trashy park program uh, running in uh, high trash separation with deep on and fast off. No problem. And the ID is 0147. That's right where it should be for a half. 
I can come up several inches off the coin and it still hits it just fine. So, uh, you know, I, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of the Equinox. I think it's a great machine, but I think it's pretty obvious there's an issue there in Park One and Field One. And hopefully mine cat, my lab can fix it with a software update. It's not a huge concern to me because 99% of the time I hunt in Park Two anyway, but you know, a lot of guys hunt with Park One. It's supposed to be geared towards higher conductors. Uh, so to me, there's definitely an issue there. But uh, anyway, just wanted to show the results of the test. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.